it taught me a lot. To be the book came out in 2015. Yeah. Um, honestly, I hadn't read it until up until the time that I went and sat down. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Right. Not not just two Cause, men. Yeah, because I noticed I can't. I, I told him I said one thing. I would love to interview somebody who can tell me the childhood stories, like. You know, eight, nine, ten, coming up, like right that that age. Right. You know right. what he was like, stuff See, like me, that. On my side, I just I read about it. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. In the in the Julia in the book. Yeah, in the, yeah, in the sweet book, Julia Beverly. Yeah. yeah, Julia yeah. Beverly. She been Shout on the show. Shout out to Julia, out to Julia man. man for, yeah. I seen you and her doing a campaign when that book when all when all that was going on, right? Yeah. Y'all yeah. was going around and and everything, man. Julia Beverly, man. Like I said, she came down here, came on the show, showed us mad love here, man. Spent the day with me and my wife, yeah, and I, you know, I with Julia. yeah, we just, yeah. Uh, man, me and Julia just talked. What like two days ago? Mm-hmm. That's dope. Yeah, that's so, dope. Like, we always going back and forth. She's it's crazy. Actually, she was telling me. Uh, she texted me like, "Call me," but I was asleep. It was it was the middle of the day though. Huh? I went to sleep. I, I'm like, "Man, what's up? You still up?" It's like two, three in the morning. Uh, she texted me right back like, "Yeah, uh, Jay was asking about you. He was trying to talk to you." Wow, I'm, I'm like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, we always back and forth. Well, yeah, I like I like said when she came on the show, man. She's just a genuine person. Um, I told her I want to get her back on the show too. She just dope, brother. When it come down to her journalism and her journey, you know the way right. she stuck her neck out for doing stuff with the culture when nothing wasn't really going on in the South. The way she did it right. and the way it made it made it made a sound. You know what right. I mean? The so whole ozone movement. yeah, the ozone, the ozone movement ozone, made a yeah. sound. Yeah. So ozone started in two thousand two, but we were very like Central Florida focus, and okay. we didn't have any money. So it was like however many issues we can print up. That's however many we're going to put out. So the way we started expanding was that um, I would be surprised. Like I put, I put a few magazines in a box in Miami in a box in Tampa, and we wouldn't really get a, a huge response like from the big cities, like, you know, somewhere like Miami, they've got three radio stations and they've got newspapers and they have outlets. But what surprised me was that like, for example, like that first, you know, we put a box out in Tampa and we started just getting all these calls from Tampa, whether it was DJs or, or artists or, you know, people who had stores that wanted to advertise, like stores like yours. You no, know, so right. I, I think she dope for doing that. And I, I always bring on Boss Talk 101. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. She called me, got on me about something. I ain't gonna even say what it was, but she like, <laughs> she called me, got on me a little bit about something. But I was, like I said, I told her, I, said, I didn't even think of it like that, but just a dope person, man, like I said. And she, on her own dime, just flew down. Ain't no no hesitation. I emailed her. She liked the email. She emailed me back. She came to town, just like she said, Man. Old school, yeah, man. We just talking <laughs> one of our conversations too from the from the other day, probably like three four days ago. Um, man, she had just sent me a number her BlackBerry. I'm like, man, she's <laughs> crazy. Man. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know people still have that. Man, she probably if if it's like a top three, I'm definitely putting her as one of the people that still got it and and that mess around with it. You know, like Dang. actively to go back and. Man, that's that crazy. That make her different too, man. What did you think about the book? Like when you when you was when you finally got a chance to adjust it and you know that your that Mama West had her hand in it. How did that make you feel just reading it and dealing with it? After you got of age, of course. It taught me a lot. To be the book came out in twenty fifteen. Yeah. Um honestly, I hadn't read it until up until the time that I went and sat down. Oh, okay. You didn't read it till you sat like, down. I didn't skim through it, you know, mm-hmm. I picked it up a little bit here and there, but Man, I be on the go, man. Because you have time down. when you sitting down. Right. And I just... Man, so I was younger so then. I was here, there, there, trying to do this, that, that, man. So you think of you thank her for doing that because that gave you something to latch on to. Thanks. And when you're going through your deepest, trying this time, right? And it taught, it taught me a lot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.